guys, welcome back to Just Me. I am Jules. I'm Elizabeth London. Belle Edmonds, aka Ogam. <laughs> welcome, welcome to the show again. So, how was your week? My week was okay. You know, I did some auditions or whatever. Good luck. Nice. <laughs> so, keep my fingers crossed. Auditions are, so let me tell you guys, the audition process is very nerve wracking. Yes. You spend all that time getting ready. You drive 40 minutes to an hour only to get to a five minute audition. Yep. Trust me. And then you just hang on like, I'm just going to have a conversation with you guys because I didn't drive all the way out here to be like it. And then the casting, you know, the casting director is like, do you mind doing that again? Over again. Please. But those are the nice ones. Those are the ones that actually like you. They don't care about you. Oh, they just like, thank you. And you're like, we'll call so you. We'll keep in touch. We'll keep in touch. Can we get your email? <laughs> and you're like, seriously. Yeah. And then when they never call you and then you, you probably run into them because it's a small, you know, community, community. of actors mm -hmm. and actresses. And they're like, oh, you were really, really good, but you just, you were too tall. <laughs> okay. Or too short. Or you were too fat. You had some fat. You, you know, we're looking for somebody slightly older, slightly <laughs> younger. Just well, the best one is ethnically ambiguous. Like, what the heck does that even mean? It means folks who cannot pass not pass the right person. person. It means you're not the right person. It means period. as long as you don't look black. Period. Ooh. Beth, can you please tell us what else So, is our latest like? hot gist of the day. <laughs> Simon Cowell is now a daddy. Yeah. I mean, you know, because you got all that money. I mean, look at me. I would give you pretty babies. Trust me, the eggs are lovely. So, eggs are really pretty. <laughs> Ethnically ambiguous. Not quite that, but we're getting there. We're working on it. Ambiguous. I am working on this ambiguity. Ambiguous. <laughs> Do you guys um hmm, think he's gonna marry his baby mother? I'm sorry, no. mother of his child. Like um, I said, I think it's just a mistake. I don't think it is. I think it was a well planned, well thought out um process. No, he ain't gonna marry her. He ain't gonna marry her. I have a, a man. If you had two choice of men and they're both nice wonderful they treat you like princesses mm -hmm. and just one is much richer than the other would you what would you go for i mean they're the same they treat Pretty me much. the same yes the one that has the money duh that's like is that a trick question I mean, no, seriously, doesn't love Trump at all. I mean, you said wait, you wait, love wait, them wait. all. They yeah, treat yeah. you the wait, same. Say that again because you meet two guys, sense. they treat you the same. They're kind, they're loving, whatever. They have the traits of what you're looking for in a man. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's just one is a billionaire or a billionaire just has billionaire. a lot more money than the other. It's, it's not Duh. even like rocket That's science. That's not even like a, yeah, I thought but, maybe. Okay, okay, so the caveat to this is okay. he never spends time with you, though, but he's kind to you. He's just, he's rich, so he's always traveling. Does he have money? He, she yes, said he he's did. a billionaire. Exactly. Billionaire. That, does he have money? But but that answers your question. But the thing is, he doesn't spend time with you. We'll, we'll, we'll work that out. Don't we'll be there. On, guys. So <laughs> what else do we have? All right. So the, the hot, 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 hot. Oh this gosh. is so hot, I'm burning up. So I can't wait. I just got to let it out. Right. All right. So um, Miss Nicki Minaj has a new album out. Congratulations, honey. She's running around um, barely clothed, <laughs> like most other girls are doing. You know, Beyonce has done it, Rihanna, they all, you know, that's just the latest yeah. thing to do. But so, um, so she has a new album out. Um, now, it's already very controversial, which, of course, most of them do is do things that are controversial. And the yeah. problem is that she just opposed the album to have Malcolm X's image holding a rifle gun, and it, she titled it Looking at N Word. So it has a derogatory. Term, um, term yeah. and with the face of an icon in the African American community. But she did say she's not actually going to use that because I mean she had like there was like an outlash um, in regards to that. So she was like, okay, I mean it was just like a testing phase. We're not going to actually use it. So oh, she that's not even the main issue. The main issue is what's up with our community degrading each other. Like, it has come you know, to the point whereby, okay, we need to, like, in order to sell, in order to make money these days, let's just, like, you know, play down each other and just, Exactly. Like, I mean, guys are calling women the B word, and the women yeah. are calling guys the, the N, N word, word the like, A word, whatever. Nobody has <laughs> names anymore. I remember TLCC? Kudos to oh, TLC. Oh, I love it. Scrubs. That is really yeah. showing their age. I'm only 18. Yeah. I have no idea who TLC like is, I said, but I love the TLC. song No Scrub. Yes. I, I, I loved mean, it. They could have done it that way. The way, I mean... The, 
it was funny and then they came out with a rendition of you know pigeons you know remember so, yeah. it was but, very humorous it was yeah. um pigeons was, was a parody funny. of no scrub but he sent right. a message across now um so she did say some very to play the devil's advocate she said some pretty good things i mean she said some interesting things that were actually true but which m makes me bet the question who the heck have you been dating Seriously, like if those are the kind of men you know, you know, you stay away you. from them. I mean, who have you been dating, but, see, women? but then the question is, is that something that is common in our um, community? Is it that they're attracted to a certain kind that leads to that, or is it just something to get popular? I think there's also like a culture divide because, I mean, being from Africa, um, I've never dealt with broke African guys before. Cause, and they like to spend, right? Money. I mean, what's they, your experience they, with, with African They do. Men? You know, African men, if they have to borrow to show, they will show. They, <laughs> they, <laughs> chivalry is not dead. Yes. However, when they get you, it's a different story. That'll be a different topic for another day. <laughs> but a lot of people in the African-American community are saying that the N-word, by using that amongst themselves, is taking away the power. Right. That power, the the the, the evil that it held. The, oh, please. The, um, I'm no, sorry. No, no, it doesn't. It so doesn't what do you guys that. think? No. I think it's just really degrading, period. I mean, why would you... Take it off. Remove it. I mean, no one should know, be using it in the first place. Why do women mean? call themselves the B word? Why do that? Why degrade yourself? Mm. If somebody releases a music calling somebody a looking ass in, or, and then there's been a lot of, um, what do they call it, um, people throwing back other songs. What yeah, are doing called? remixes. Remixes of it. And, of course, and Cassidy looking, decided to come out of nowhere. Looking at I don't even me. know where the heck Cassidy has been all For these the last years. 20 years. But, of course, he felt the need to come out and do his own version and, of course, mm -hmm. tore women down. Is that a type of society that we live in? So That's the, on the truth, but that, that, that is the society. It is. In. So no, no yeah, matter what just, we say, no matter what we do, there's still people that's going to buy those records. Whether yeah, they like they're going to love so it. I mean, gonna, there are people all over social media saying, again, oh my the God, point is just for us to bring it, music, to talk this, about it, and hopefully bring people an awareness. Listen, yeah. right? well, but stay till the end of this video. You do you not want you to miss our you version lunch, of the looking ass. Mm. <laughs> okay. And that'll <laughs> what be... do we call it again? Idiot. 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 You can ask idiot. Idiot. <laughs> okay. So you guys stay tuned and please tell us what you think. Okay. We want to hear your voice. Do you guys support the album? Is it a big deal? No big deal? Whatever. You enjoy it. It's just all in fun and game. Let us know. www.facebook.com forward slash the full gist. So follow us and subscribe. See you on the other side. See you on the other side. Have fun. Have a wonderful week. Oh, well.